tipple of Buffalo Trace. I don't drink all that often. It's like a little treat now and then, right? So, um, this was, I did a bit of research about this. I've had Buffalo Trace before, and I, what I like to do is look up like the whiskey experts on YouTube, and I found a really good one who's like really intensely into it and judging like all the best whiskeys. So, he did, um, the best stuff you can get at the supermarket, and um, he recommended Buffalo Trace as a secondary to Knob Creek. Now, Knob Creek is my favourite bourbon whiskey, which is 100 proof, which is 50%, and um, it's really nice. And did I actually start the video, Simon? Did you start the video? Yes, it's recording. Thank fucking Christ for that. Um, and Jesus loves me. He doesn't mind if I say fucking hell and uh, Jesus Christ. It's all good. Okay, <laughs> um, let's hope so. Anyway, I think it's all good. Okay, right. So basically, what I did here, let me just stop this and delete that because I've already got the audio for this. Don't need it. See this little bit here on the wind, this bit of the window here. This is where you select your microphone in this bit here next to the microphone. Oh, you know, it's six three nine six. It's six a.m. thirty nine. That's a good number for me. If you look up Tesla's map of the universe and numbers of the universe, the numbers for the universe or the key to universe is six three nine or three six nine. Some weird stuff happened with Tesla where he was able to cause earthquakes and stuff with the stuff he knew just in his room. And um, I basically, I think that basically, like he got screwed over in some form and. Um, he wanted to generate free power for the world and then the corpos, corporate people came along and took his research and and corrupted everything and, you know, and now we have 5G. Yay. All right. What I'm going to do is show you how I, this and this is the first time I've ever done it. I haven't practiced this video or anything, okay? So I'm like testing this and to see if it works <laughs> while with you here. So what I would do is like with you, you might have to put your earbuds in with them out a bit. For me, I'll have it like this. So I've, I've got like a bit of hearing here so I can hear my voice and the audio will come in here, right? Um, but I've got this track called Post Human Slash Wolf. I don't know, I'm just gonna sing some lyrics from it. From Like I've got a whole bunch of lyrics here that I don't know what order they're gonna be in or anything. So like, um, I don't know. So uh, let's just fucking do it, Simon. So I've got the track in. I'm going to hit record and just we're just going to see what the hell happens. I don't know if it'll work or not. Right. Is this recording for fuck's sake? So you go here, tracks, add new, mono track, because your vocal needs to be a mono track, right? Click on the mono track, click this button to bring it to the beginning, right? And now when we hit record, it should play this track and we record on this track. Let's listen and see what how, what how it how it sounds. So this is without any effects, just what I recorded just then. Looking for something where there's nothing. Okay, it, it is what it is. So you want to get rid of this piece here. This is how you do it, right? You go like this. And then you go to, you, you generate silence. See, and then that goes like this. Okay, now I know what we're doing. So now there's gonna be silence here. Okay, and the next thing you wanna do is you go to sync lock tracks on or off, right? So let me see if I can move them together. Yeah, see, that's what it means. And when you click this button, this is the move tool. <clears throat> it means that this is sync locked, okay? And um, to get it, to be at the very beginning, you just move it until that yellow line shows, right? So now what we need to do, if we want to record a new piece here, is you go to tracks, add new mono track, and there you go. Click on the track, bring it to the beginning, and you select the track like this, click the select button,
say this bit here was no good, right? Click stop. Um, make sure you click on this one. This is to move everything. So you see, everything is sync locked, right? That's what that sync lock button does here. Yeah, that, what you don't want to do, like what I did when I was showing you was move this. Leave all of these at Unity. Unity means don't touch them, don't put the volume up on these, right? I want all of the audio from all the different tracks to be the same level going into the mic. It needs to be exactly the same, okay? Everything. Go to tracks, add new mono track because vocals is mono. Go to this one here to select where you want to come in. So you can come in here and prepare yourself in this bit here to get ready, you know, like get yourself ready. You can mute this one as well. Um, or you can have that one play and as you prepare to come in. So let's do that quickly. And we're back again, baby. Because you swear more often, but it doesn't matter anyway. It's hard and easy. Pay oh God, Simon. Anyway, um, so now what you can do is you could mute this one and mute this one. And if you wanted to record this end bit, for example, you just go to a track, add a new one, another mono track, right? And all you do is you put the marker where you want it. So say you want to record something on, on this part of the song. The song stays lined up because up here we clicked on sync lock tracks on and off. And when you go here, that means everything is going to be beautifully aligned. So I'm excited because I've never done this in Audacity myself. So it's kind of, I'm kind of like really happy this it's actually working. So I go, this will be very helpful for you, I think. Maybe we should do a tutorial on Omega Gon music. I'm thinking of doing tutorials um, on how to do mix uh, mixing in the you know like make how to make music and oh, considering like where do I put my spiritual healing music? Do I put it all on Omega Gon even that and have a mixture of like heavy dance music which is kind of like chakra tuned? Well, yeah, getting off topic. So say you want to just just to finish the video. Let's say I want to put something in this bit so I click on this here select the bit this is the bit we want let's hit record it, it, it will start there you go and we're cold in the last bit of the fucking and it's not Hitting, if the audio is hitting these bits here, this line, if the audio is hitting the top and the bottom, that, it's if the audio wave is smashing the top and the bottom, then you know it's clipping. So now exporting, right? So once you've done all your takes, Sarah, what you do is you mute um, the track at the top because it's, it's handy to keep the track in place. Um, so, so you can also you can save the project by going to save project here and and saving it as um, Sarah's witches in the woods or whatever it's called. You can call it whatever you want. So, say you've got this bit here and this bit here. You can what you can do is just have um, one track playing and Control A will just select everything. And as you can see over here, there's a bit of overspill. So, how can I get rid of overspill? It's simple. You just go uh, like this. You don't need to get rid of it, but you can just go like that and click delete. Ooh, I'm gonna spill my drink. And you've got rid of that, okay? On the keyboard, Control plus A selects everything. So you go here, File, Export, Wave, right? Don't export your all your tracks as as MP3. Export it as WAV 24 bit here. Will be great. Um, 24 bit WAV is going to be perfect. 
uh, on the desktop. Um, so this is going to be vocal take one, right? You can na name name them what what you will. You know, if it's for the end part of the song, you could you could put vocal, um, you know, second verse just to give me a clue where it is, and then save, and then um, okay. And that's exported to the desktop. So now, when I bring it up into FL Studio, just give you, I'll just show you what it will be like. Um, I bring the track in, like this. This is what I'm going to do on my end, right? Um, and then I'm going to take your vocal, which you just delivered to me, and it'll pop it in. It's perfect. It will align perfectly underneath, like that. You can come in here and you can go, um, okay, well actually I'm happy with everything, the way it lined up. Not this one, but I'm happy with this whole take, all these three here, right? So what you can do is go mute and mute. And then when you export, if you click export now, it's the, thing, the program, Audacity, is going to export just these three. So let me show you what that looks like, right? Export. WAV file again. Call this what you want. So you could call it Witch's main vocal. If you want, you can record backing vocals there and, and send it to me. You can do you can be get as creative and wild as you want. If you want, you can record some tambourine or you know, whatever. Get some pots and pans. You know, whatever you want to do and send it to me and I'll do whatever. But, but you don't have to do any of that. You can just do the vocal. I'm just saying like you, you can get as creative as you want with it. Uh, your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one mono file. That's great. That's what you want. So what it's going to do is it's going to take those three tracks and make one track. So you go, okay, if you don't want to see that again, just click this. I don't care. I don't need it to tell me that. I know that's what it's doing. So I'll just click, I don't want to see that again. And because that's, this is, it's a waste of time. If you, It might be helpful for you to see that every time to begin with, right? So now check it out. Go into FL Studio, which is main... And there you go, right? So when you send, you can send it to me and it will just pop under the track just like that. And then what I'm going to do is pop it into a vocal track like this. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, God. So now my mouse mat's got a lovely smell of whiskey, I guess. It's a bit alcoholy though, so it's not the best. So then I would name this main vocal... Of course, like um, I'll be exporting it into the original track, you know, which won't be just a waveform. It'll be like all of the synths and everything. So, you know, let me give you an let me show you what a synth looks like. One of my favorite synths is Diva. Um, sounds really, really nice. I've got boot, like notepads and the microphone in the way and shit all over the place. So I think um, I think my work here is done. Okay. You, you want to see something really hardcore? Right. We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. Freddy, no! Freddy, Frederick, answer me right now. Ah, good morning, people of. The Kingdom of Twata. This is a message from Omega Corp. Um, I just want to drink to everybody's good health. I'm having a little bit of Buffalo Trace uh, this morning. Um, don't worry, I'm not an alcoholic. My dad got me this for um, for Christmas, but it looks like it's it's for it was for the fifteenth of of, of um, it ended up being for the fifteenth of December and the sixteenth. Um, anyway, this is the national anthem for the Kingdom of of Twata from the Omega Corp. I hope you all have a nice day. And um, if you follow me, hoping to get a follow back, uh, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is your national anthem, Kingdom of Twata. Uh, cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, that is. I'm not going to not neck the whole thing. I like to sip it. Not mod modest sips, but I'm not um, a shot kind of guy. I'm a kind of like a, 
sniff and sip it straight kind of guy, you know? To the kingdom of Twatter! Uh, yeah, I think that's it. How long is that? A minute and a half? That'll do. Alright everyone, I'm just messing about. Have fun, have a nice day. This is Omega Gone Out. I'm just telling you, I'll just let you know, Cynthia is coming along really well. And it's definitely going to be out within the first three months of uh, 2020. Um, let's hope, okay? <laughs> but I think it will be, because it's like really nearly there now. So, with that being said, I'll see you later guys. <laughs>